Welcome back to Seminole Planet. This species profile is about the gray tree frog, Hyla versicolor. It's a very common species over here in Georgia. And the good thing about this species is you don't often have to look for it. It'll often find you. Hopefully, we'll see one very soon. I'm not hearing them as much. I normally do right now. I'm not entirely sure why, but hopefully that doesn't indicate that we'll have too much difficulty finding them. Uh, I like to look over here near the fence. Oh, found them. Finding them over here near the fence is a lot. This beautiful tree frog is Hyla versicolor, uh, the gray tree frog. Um, let's see if I can get a hold of this frog. As you can see, actually, I'm wearing gloves. Um, there are two reasons why I'm wearing these gloves. Number one, uh, this tree frog can actually secrete a toxin on its skin that, if you get in your eyes, can be pretty darn painful. Um, and another reason is that amphibians do a lot of gas exchange through their skin. So not only to protect myself, but to protect the frog as well. Um, I, I like to try to wear gloves whenever it's available uh, to, to avoid passing on any of my pathogens or any sort of toxins on my hands to the tree frog. And the reason I'm trying to get a hold of this frog is because there's something pretty cool I want to show you. <laughs> you see it right here, it's got beautiful yellow markings on its legs. Oh. Come on. I promise I'm not hurting the frog right now. See how bright yellow that is. This that's how you know actually that we have a male. Uh, the females do not croak. So this is just a little male over here. And these bright markings on the frog, it lets predators know, um, and this frog sees me as a potential predator right now, it lets predators know that, uh, that I do produce a toxin, so you should not try to eat me. Well, let's calm down a bit. This is beautiful markings. Um, huh? let's, let's stay on my gloves, please. You can see it's got these long toes, uh, really, really big feet. Uh, it's just perfect for latching onto branches, um, even these fence posts. Uh, this is a species that has become very uh, very good at, at adapting to the urbanization that has been going across the United States. <laughs> Many species have been suffering a lot from our from humans going into their environment. And I'm sure this species does also, oh, well, now it's on my skin, does also feel the negative impact of, of urbanization. It just gives more toxins in the environment, as I mentioned before. It's, uh, it does gas exchange through its skin, and that will inevitably cause whatever's in the environment to pass through its body. However, this, this species, oh, I got a bug in my eye, has, uh, has still done a pretty excellent job at surviving despite, despite all the human interaction in its life. All right, let me stop messing with this guy now. I'm sure he's had enough of me. 
sure he wants to get back up here and start croaking and attracting the ladies. It's, uh, it's that time of year. Temperature is right. Go ahead. There we go. Wow. As I mentioned before, just these these feet, perfect for sticking on surfaces. What a neat species. Well, I'm glad you guys got to enjoy the uh, the great tree frog with me. Join me for our other Salmon Planet adventures.